Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take your webinar registration form and then embed it into any custom website that you might have. And I'm going to show you how to do it with ClickFunnels. I'm going to show you how to do it with System.io, which is my personal favorite landing page and funnel builder. And I'm also going to show you how to do it with Wix. Obviously, I can't cover every possible web page builder that exists. If you learn how to do it with these three, you could basically apply the same principles to any website that you have. So the first question you might have is why would why would somebody use a custom landing page builder over webinar jams built-in landing page builder because they do have a built-in version well let's take a look so if you go to your settings inside of your webinar jam inside of your actual webinar that you've presumably already set up and you go to the registration tab here and then registration page design click this little pencil icon the edit button you can see that webinar jam presents you with a bunch of different little templates here that you can use that have different options like maybe a big video or a small video over on the side or no video at all just text so it does give you a little bit of flexibility and so if we let's just click customize on one of these and you can choose at this point do you want a registration bar down at the bottom or do you want like a little bubble somewhere or an actual embedded form i usually go for the embedded form because it's it's less clicks for people so let's launch builder and here's the basic template so you can obviously go in here and you can change all these bullet points and you could change out this video to maybe a, a mini VSL or something. And then the embedded form is right over here on the right. So the problem I have with Webinar Jam's website builder is that it's just very, very basic. Like you can't, you can't move elements around. You're kind of limited on the customization. You can't do much with changing color schemes or the background. You can do a little bit of that, but it's pretty restricted on how you can customize it. So for me personally, the reason I use a custom landing page is that I just have way more options, way more flexibility on how the page looks. So for most business owners, you don't need a custom landing page. You can just use Webinar Jam's templates. It's an all-in-one suite of tools. You can just use everything that's built in. But I'm just gonna quickly show you how to set this up with a custom landing page. So, okay, so my under my Webinars tab here, you can see this, this first test webinar just says configuration and complete. Let's not worry about that. Let's take one of these old ones, click your links. And then there's a button right here that says embed into your website. And then you can choose, do you want a, wet, a registration bar down at the bottom? Do you want a button somewhere? Do you want a bubble? Or do you want the embedded form? So whatever you prefer, I always go with the embedded form because again, I like to eliminate as many unnecessary clicks as possible. I want people to land on the page and immediately see the form. Take the embedded form option. You can customize what the button says. Sometimes I change this to reserve your seat. And then this is what the registration form looks like. And then down at the bottom is the embed code, which is just some HTML. So you can click copy. All right, so let's start with ClickFunnels. You're gonna edit your landing page. And let's say we just wanna put the embedded form right on the page, right in the center underneath the headline. So what you're gonna do is add a new element and then add custom HTML and it pops up this orange box, click the gear icon and you've got your code editor over here on the right side, click that. And then that code that we just copied from Webinar Jam, you're gonna paste that in. And sometimes it'll be off center. So what I like to do is add another HTML tag, the center tag, so center, open tag, and then the close tag. And then just hit the X and then hit save. Now, when I preview this, my embed form just appears right there, square in the center, right underneath the headline. And that's great. So that's how you do it with, uh, with ClickFunnels. Now, when people hit register, you're going to want to redirect them to come some kind of thank you page because the thank you page is pretty important with a webinar. You want to you confirm that, you know, you want to reaffirm that this is what they're getting out of the webinar. This is why they need to show up. This is the bonuses. Here's the date, mark it in your calendar, et cetera. So when they do click that register button, you wanna make sure to redirect them to a thank you page. But I'll come back to that. Let me show you really quickly how to set this up with system.io and then Wix. All right, here we are in system.io. I've just got a test funnel here. It's called test two. I'm gonna to go to edit page. And this is obviously just a default template. I'm gonna get rid of these buttons and this email sign up. We're gonna look for over here on the left, raw HTML. Click and drag that wherever you want it on your page. Let's say I want it over here underneath the headline. I'm gonna delete these, they are not relevant. 
Now you've got this little box that says raw HTML. Click the gear. And then over on the left side, it says edit code. I'm going to hit that, delete the stuff that's in the box, paste the webinar jam form, and then hit save. Now when I hit preview, there we go. There's the registration form over on the left side. Exactly the same thing as ClickFunnels. All right, now let's say you're using Wix or Squarespace or some other website builder like that. Same basic concept. We're going to come over to the Wix builder. Here's an example website that I have. Let's say instead of book an estimate, I want them to register to a webinar first so I can show them whatever I'm demonstrating. In this case, some kind of tree care, for example, and then I'll try to get them to book a call from there. So just here on the home page, you'll probably want to add a section so that you have a dedicated space where the form appears. So I'm just going to add a blank section. And then over on the left side, I'm going to click add elements. And then I'm going to I'm going to embed HTML. So I'm going to just hit the little add, add to site. <clears throat> and then I'm going to paste my code in there and hit update. Now with Wix, they, they give you this little default box, which is actually kind of small. So I'm going to just click this. And first of all, I'm going to expand it as big as I can. Get rid of this, this scroll bar here. So Got to move some elements around here. Let me drag this. All right, so I made it big enough so that the scroll disappears, and then I'm just going to center this, and it's going to click into place. There we go, exactly in center. And so when I hit save on this, the form will appear. Let's hit preview and see what it looks like. Boom. So there it is, Robin's Tree Care, and then there's a, a form. So obviously I delete this book and estimate button. All right, so that's, that's the basics. It's very simple, very straightforward. You're just embedding HTML into the website. Now. You want to, this is very important. You want to make sure to go back into Webinar Jam. You're going to edit your webinar and you want to go over to this thank you option. And then it says default versus custom confirmation page. You're using a custom registration page. So it's a good idea to also use a custom thank you page. Click edit here. And you want to go to your custom page. And then you want to paste whatever your thank you page is. So they register and then they go to your custom page. So yourdomain.com slash thank you, for example. So that way it redirects them correctly on your website. And then if you have a Facebook pixel set up, Facebook's able to capture the, the registrants information, send that back there to their algorithm. Now, if you do have Facebook ads set up, this box is checked by default, send register information and webinar information. Facebook usually has a problem with this box being checked because it sends too much information to the registration page and it will cause it'll cause errors with your Facebook ad. And so I always untick this box and then I'll enter your post registration, your thank you page here, whatever that is, and then hit save. Now the nice thing about using Webinar Jam's built-in web page builder, landing page builder, is that if you if you come in here into the options, and let's say you selected this this first one. You can enable split testing. So you can run an A and a B version. Maybe one version has a video on it and the other version doesn't. You just want to see which one converts better, see if you can get better registrations. So you can actually enable split testing in here. And let's say you want you want 50% of the traffic to go to B and 50% to A. So you'd select your A page, then you'd hit this little icon here, and then you'd also select your B option. And so that allows you to, you know, obviously split test registrations and see which version converts better. So that is a upside to using the Webinar Jam's built-in feature. There's a, there's a way to do this with ClickFunnels, but it's a little more complicated because, because you're using a custom HTML. ClickFunnels isn't aware of who's registering and who's not, so it's, hard to, it's harder to split test with ClickFunnels, but that's just a trade-off you have to weigh. For most people, I would recommend you use the built-in landing page builder, but I made this video just in case you are just like me and you like using a custom landing page. So that's how you do it. It's very simple, very straightforward. Now, if you're if you're wondering what kind of landing page builder that I recommend, if you want to use a custom one, I personally prefer System.io. It's very flexible for different funnel building and landing page building. It has all the same features as ClickFunnels, and it's a lot cheaper. So. If that's something that interests you, there's a link down below you can use to register to system.io. Other than that, I appreciate watching. See you next time.